Welcome back to the fifth weekly portfolio review. We are going to be rating your portfolio sites and roasting them and giving them a score out of 30. There are three categories. The first one is hireability. Does it give me a lot of information about you? The second one is aesthetic. How good does it look? And number three, creativity. Is it just a template or did you actually put blood, sweat, and tears into it? And if you want to submit your portfolio, make sure you show up to one of the portfolio streams every Thursday at 12 p.m. EST. And the link to all the sites will be in the description below. Oh man, this is bringing back some bad memories memories of when I was in school. Can you guys see that? Let me move my face. The Microsoft clipboard. Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> Yo, you guys are going wild in this chat. Okay. Clearly the chat works because people are posting heinous shit in it as you would expect. Yeah. Y'all are wild. I feel bad for this poor guy that coded this. You guys like clearly you guys beat me to it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this is pretty sick though. Holy shit. Did you make this from scratch? Uh, resume. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. And I can download this. Nice. Open a new window. Yo, this is really well done. Not going to lie, dude. This is our first portfolio. We already got an absolute banger bro oh my goodness projects open nft what you got going on here yo this is so sick like the embedded browser experience is wild bro bro made his mind super game too er too easy bro give me the hard mind sweeper what the hell used to play this as a kid like all the fucking time oh man we're in one of these situations no okay i suck not gonna lie, it kind of sucked. Uh, mail. Okay, this is your email. Wait, can I actually send you a message here? That'd be pretty cracked, right? Oh, shit, it worked. It worked. Hey, yo. You coded this no library, just CSS? That is wild. I got so distracted by how sick the UI was that I don't even know what you do. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of developer you are. I just realized that. I was like, dude, I would hire this guy. And I'm like, wait a second. What does this guy even do? Bro has the Easter egg Rickroll. This might be one of the best portfolios I think I've ever seen. Like, okay. Creativity we know is a 10 out of 10. That's not a 10 out of 10. Like you nailed it. Hireability. Chat, is this a 10 out of 10? Is this a, is this our first perfect portfolio site we've ever seen? I think this is a 10 chat. I think this is a 30 out of 30. This is the very first 30 out of 30 I think we have ever seen on the stream. Dude, if you're watching this on YouTube, go check this out. The link to all of these will be in the description. Now you're probably wondering, how can I get a job when people I'm competing with are creating portfolios like that? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's having a rock solid understanding of programming's fundamentals, which is now super easy to do thanks to today's video sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant lets you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming and AI, and it is by far the best way to get out of the tutorial loop that I know a lot of us get stuck in. All the lessons utilize the first principles teaching method, which is my preferred way to learn because it teaches you concepts from the ground up, which means once you learn them, you never really forget. It's also available wherever you are. I personally use the phone app and it is the best way for me to replace my doom scrolling habit with actually learning things. And not to mention, they offer some pretty cool programming courses, including things like applied Python, thinking in code, and a new course on LLM. So the next time you use ChatGPT's API, you actually understand what's happening under the hood. And to try everything Brilliant has the offer, you can click my link in the description below, brilliant.org slash Anthony Sestilli, for a 30-day free trial. Not to mention, if you use my link, you will also get 20% off your annual subscription. That's brilliant.org slash Anthony Sestilli, or you can go ahead and scan the QR code. Now back to roasting some more portfolios, especially if he's a web developer. Full stack web development, UX, UI design. See, there are small things like you mentioned like UX UI design and stuff like that. Like a lot of this UI is inconsistent and it doesn't look very good to be completely honest. I mentioned this in the last one. Anyone I guess mentions that you specifically do like you specialize in creating like good websites or UI UX design and the UI UX does not look good on your site. That is points docked in my opinion. Um, I'm not trying to be like, you know, nitpicky and I understand not everyone's a web developer, but web developer with like perfect front end pixel perfect stuff. But if you do say that you do like UX UI, bro, I want to see the UX UI in the site. Higher ability is like a six. I say aesthetics like a four and creativity is like a four. Mihai, Baka, Nomi are saying the first one was a fork. Oh, that'll be so sad. Is that really a fork? Yo, uh, what was the guy's name in chat? Squirrel abuse. Is your thing a fork of this? Wait a second. This looks identical. No. The Windows 95 guy just forked his portfolio from this repo. Bro, can you defend yourself in chat? 
please tell us it ain't true. Tell us this is just a coincidence and some guy randomly decided to like remake the entire thing that you had. Why sad YC funds forks nowadays? Might get 100 mil from YC. Why Combinator just call their offering 5 mil? No, dude. 99 missed calls from YC? Y'all are fucking wild, bro. No, no. Oh my God, this is it. This is the real 30 out of 30 guy, bro. Can we go to his GitHub? There's 241 commits. We have to go all the way to the end. Wait, this looks like it's from scratch, right? Look. There's no fork. There's no fork history, right? Chat. And it does like he's been working on this since March, right? It seems like he added a decent amount at least. Inspired by the actual Windows 95 and other idea from Windows 95's portfolios. Everything is built by me from scratch. It's 100% not a fork, but it's not original. Here's what we're going to do. He mentioned it was inspired by other Windows 95 things and he coded from scratch. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It looks like people are saying the original was coded in Vue and Next and this one was with React. So it looks like a React rewrite of the other thing. So that being said, I will reduce the creativity because it is not unique. Holy shit, we were about to give him, I was about to give him zero across the board if he forked the entire thing, but thank God we like dug a bit deeper, Chad. Ooh, this is nice and clean. I like this. Oscar, you're from Melbourne, Australia. I love it. Dude, see, this is what I like. Look at this. This is what I call hireability right here. On the left, your name, a picture of you with your dog. I love it. Where you are, what you do, and just a, a small... A small, a small little thing, you know? And all the links I need. This is kind of a text dump. Not too much of a fan of the whole giant ass text dump. But I guess you gave me the vital information on the left. So it's not that bad. I can skip this without feeling bad. You know what I mean? Languages, touch it. Nice. 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 Experience CTO and founder of Shifty. Education, projects. Oh, looks like there's, there's some broken uh, images here. Looking pretty, pretty solid. Pretty solid. I like this. Higher ability, I'm giving this a nine. This is like great for higher ability. Aesthetic, like probably like an eight. Some big text blocks and stuff like that, but that's fine. And then creativity, like a seven. Because of the review sessions, so many portfolios are becoming hireable. Bro, that's what we do it for. Let's go. Okay, lots of text here. What is this? Ads Lab? Did I get sent an ad? Is it called Ads Lab because I got sent an ad? Bro, you named the company Ads Lab, but you don't do advertisements advanced development and software engineering laboratories a student-run private technical group at me all right bro uh you lost me here ads lab ads lab is a group of students that do advanced development and software engineering laboratories um our skills you guys sort of just listed like every skill i don't know is Postman a skill? Is NetBeans a skill? Eclipse, Android Studio, NetBeans, Postman, WebStorm, PyCharm, IntelliJ ID, Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code. This is, have you guys just used every like code editor under the sun? I've never seen a portfolio or like a resume that just lists seven different code editors or like IDEs. Discord, all right, bro, all right, all right, all right. I'm calling a foul here. I don't think you can put Discord as a skill on your your group development resume. Like I get I get that it's like multiple people here and that's why you have so many different skills. But like Discord? I don't know. Jira? Jira bro? I like the aesthetic of this. It's like clean, middle focus. Discord mod lives matter. Okay. I personally write my code with a chisel on stone tablet. Bruh, I'm gonna give this like higher ability like a four. We need to add as many skills as humanly possible. It's like, okay, well, I, I've like, I like took the bus here today. So I guess I have like experience like buying bus tickets. I don't know, man. I, I'd be skeptical. This is like a very novice thing to do. If I was hiring someone and they had a portfolio like this or even a group of people, and it, it, it feels like, if it, it does feel like a student run thing because it feels like so out of touch of what people are actually looking for. No offense. I'm like just trying to give advice to help you guys out. But yeah, it feels like very out of touch of what people are actually looking for. Okay. This is a sick headshot. This is a sick headshot. I feel like a lot of this text doesn't need to be here. Like you could just have software engineer and then a little pin icon message or scroll down. Why is there a button to scroll down? I don't think I don't think I need a button to scroll down, but not not complaining. Okay, we have the carousel. Not a fan of carousel when it comes to skills and stuff like that. But I do like that you put the names down there. Bro made an app called Games. All right, we gotta check it out. I want to see the game. It's a YouTube video. Oh, a YouTube video demo. Okay. 
I I was ex I wanted to get the gains, bro. I was down to get the gains. You know what I'm saying, dude? Bonus points because you look pretty swole in the picture, and I can tell you probably made this because it was interesting to you, which is bonus points for me. Okay, the UI looks pretty clean too, bro. Where can I download the gains app? Okay, yeah, simple, easy, higher ability. Yeah, dude, like an eight. Aesthetic, I thought it was pretty clean, like also an eight. Uh, creativity and like, yeah, maybe a seven. How did I know this was gonna be a good one? Okay, I don't like how the GitHub text is smaller than the resume text. Uh, full stack dev, blockchain developer, lots going on here. Wait, the read more brings me to another preview that says read more, which brings me to another. Does this not do anything? Oh God, it does, okay. The stuff on the actual blog is like the same, <laughs> the same length as like the stuff in the preview. Okay, okay, okay. Front end, oh God, I don't wanna sit here and wait for these animations, I'm sorry, bro. Okay, I think you got a lot of stuff going on, but maybe it's a bit too much going on. It's not complete yet. Well, bro, you submitted it. I'm gonna rate it like it's completed. You know what I'm saying? So here, I've talked about this percentage thing before. This percentage thing, when it comes to skills, tells people absolutely nothing. Like, when you say 95% solidity, like, do you mean 95% like beginner? This progress bar? Like, are you like 95% like learning solidity? Are you 95% like in love with solidity? Are you 95% of the way to like becoming the best Solidity developed? Did you code 95% of like, I don't know what any of this means. You have a lot of really great aesthetic stuff, but then it sort of gets ruined by the bad aesthetic stuff. So it like ends up in middle of the line. Higher ability, it's like a six. I was able to find the information I wanted, but it was like annoying to go through the site, to be completely honest. And creativity, like a six. What do we got going on here, bro? What do we got going on here? Turning ideas into creative solutions. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of fancy. Kind of like this, not gonna lie. I believe in a user center. Okay, there's way too much text here, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, a bit of 17 year old, passionate, full stop web developer. 17, this is a pretty cool site. Um, Just a lot of text here. Whoa, look at this. When I hover over it, I get like a preview of the site. This is cool. Project was developed during my employment where I contribute as part of the development team. Thank you for having that disclaimer. I feel like it should be high. Like, so, so here's the thing. I thought this was like a project. I didn't realize, I didn't realize this was a place you actually worked. I think there needs to be like a distinction here. Like, were you employed by them? Did you like work for them and you joined their team? That should be like some kind of disclaimer. Want to collaborate, have a chat, email, phone, LinkedIn. Okay, this is cool. I like this. It's simple, clean, personalized. Yes. And I'm able to access like your socials anywhere on the site, which is nice. This is good. For higher ability, I'm going to say this is like, Maybe a seven. The thing that would improve this to an eight or above is if you make it very clear, like when something is like work experience or when something is a project. Um, aesthetic, I really like this. I'm gonna give this a nine. Creativity, also like maybe like a nine. It was nice. It was quite nice. Poll is up. So your finalist, ladies and gentlemen, first up, we have the Windows 95 one that looks absolutely amazing. Yes, he did not copy. He recoded this from scratch, but he it's sort of similar to another one that he did. But look at this, bro. He added in Minesweeper. He added in a bunch of really cool, unique stuff in there. Look at that. Second up, we have Ben Codes, a very nice, clean, simple aesthetic that helps you get in touch by a 17 year old that has worked on more projects than I probably will my entire life. Next, we have Oscars, who looks absolutely nice and simple. We have a scrollable experience with lots of awesome experience, as well as a nice sidebar that tells you exactly what you need. It's so hireable, so clean. And finally, we have the last one from our boy Kushal, who is the one that authored the awesome Gains app, bro. The Gains app. Submit your votes, ladies and gentlemen. We have ended the poll, and your winner, the winner of the fifth Portfolio review stream is our boy Ute October with the awesome Windows 95 UI. And for the streamer favorite of the day, I am personally going to give my vote to our boy Ben, who had an awesome, for 17 years old, the guy had an awesome portfolio site. I'm giving my streamer favorite of the day to our boy. So if all the YouTube viewers are home, you guys enjoyed watching the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member and show up to one of our streams where I I will roast one of your portfolios and I'll see you guys in the next video.